In the Cinema 4D Release 17 take system, an override is any individual parameter that is changed within a specific take. So overrides really are the building blocks of the take system. And in this tutorial, we'll look at four different ways to create overrides in Cinema 4D. The easiest way to create an override is to simply enable the auto take mode. And what this does is automatically create overrides as you make changes within the scene. So if I change the top radius here to zero, you'll see that I have a new override for the top radius of zero. You can also turn the auto take off and manually create overrides by right clicking and choosing override from the context menu. And you'll see that that also removes the grayed out parameters and allows you to change this parameter. So we can do something like 18. And you can see that now we have an override up here in the take manager. You can also create overrides via drag and drop. If I want to override the orientation parameter here on the cone, I can simply drag it up into the take manager and it will automatically be placed in the right spot within the object hierarchy. Now you can see that I can adjust this parameter so I can, for instance, set it to plus C. And finally, you can also create overrides by dragging and dropping the entire object. So for this, I'm going to create a new take and we'll simply take the entire text spline here, drag it over the takes tab here to activate it and drag it right into the take manager on the right hand side and now you can see that we get overrides for every parameter of the text object. Now, I don't think I'd use this very often. However, the text object is one place where you might because you have a lot of things that can change with text. Like even if I want to change something like the font, I then need to go in and probably adjust the height and maybe even the horizontal spacing or even the kerning of individual letters. So uh, you had the option to adjust all of those in a single shot by dragging the entire object into the take manager. Now once you've created all of these overrides, you can also go in and remove the overrides that you've decided you won't be using. Like for instance, I can select all of the basic properties and hit delete to delete those, as well as all of the coordinates. And now I have overrides just on all of the parameters of the object properties of this text line. So that's four ways to create overrides in the Cinema 4D Release 17 take system.